Welcome back. So let's drop in just with a deep breath. And we'll place one hand on the womb space, one hand on the heart. And just send a deep breath in through the nose, down into the belly, up into the chest. And sigh it out, making a sound if that feels good. Doing one more like that. <sighs> One more for good luck. <sighs> I'd like to use this video to talk a little bit about the breathwork technique that we're going to be focusing on throughout this series, and that's called Circular Connected Breathing. And so this is the practice that completely saved my life and changed my life in so many ways. Not only, um, you know, healing the headaches, but I'll go into that in another video. Um, so I was originally trained in rebirthing breathwork, which was a style that was created by a man named Leonard Orr in the early 70s in the States. And it's evolved into many different styles um, from this foundational technique of circular connected breathing and so there's a lot of different names out there these days and everybody kind of puts their own twist on it which I love and I'd say our style is very feminine and receptive so we find that really deep healing can happen when we are in a deep relaxed state and when our nervous system is calm and so um, it's both can be intense and profound and very deep, uh, but also relaxing and it really can reset your entire system. And I've seen people's lives change a lot, many times after just one session. Um, and I believe that that's, that happens because we are getting to the root cause of the things that we deal with in our life. And they have proven that we are 99.999999% energy, including everything in our reality. And so that is why they're finding that at least 95% of all of the issues, diseases, mental illnesses that we deal with have this emotional, energetic root cause. And so this is good news because that means we can really get to the root of it and um, and it can happen in a way where we take our power back and we let go of this idea that there's something that needs to be fixed. We can invite in curiosity and start to just simply learn about ourselves in a way that feels good. And so what this breath work is doing is it's working on all levels of your being, your physical, mental, emotional body, and spiritual body. And what you're doing is you're creating this energetic current. So um, I'll, t I'll talk more about the actual breath technique in the next video. Um, but we're going to be creating our own energetic current. And what happens to all of us uh, throughout our life when we experience different traumas, stress patterns, um, limiting beliefs, thought patterns that run over and over and over again in our subconscious, mostly that we're not even aware of, they start to create distorted patterns of energy. Um, and when we hold on to certain emotions, when we have a emotional traumatic experience that you know, we're not a lot of times taught how to process that. Our body holds on to that energy and it gets locked in the body somewhere. And so this is why miracles can really happen in this breath work. And we've seen people's lives change completely after one session. Because if you can allow this energy to reintegrate into your being, um, moving more towards wholeness, then whatever branches, whatever symptoms, messages have grown from that root cause don't need to be there anymore because we have integrated that part of ourselves that had become fractured, 
however you want to perceive that. And so, let's see, what else do I want to say about it? There's so many, I could take this into <laughs> like a hundred different directions. Um, and I'll be talking a lot more about it throughout the course. I don't want to overload you with a lot of information because it is so much about surrendering and trusting your body. Um, the mind really has very little to do with this process. A lot of times it's what gets in the way. So a lot of times I see people in their first session is always the biggest one because they don't know what to expect. Um, and yeah, they kind of just go into it with that beginner open mind. And so that's one thing I invite you to keep in mind is um, every session is different. And that's because it's coming from within you. And your body knows exactly what you need in that moment. And the mind doesn't need to help that process. The mind doesn't need to help this energy integrate and shift. Our bodies are extremely intelligent, well beyond what we can even fathom, in my opinion. So just like if you have a cut on your finger, you don't sit there and stare at it and make up all these stories and try to figure out how it's going to heal. It just heals. And we believe that. We trust that. And it does. It always does. So our entire being works that way. But there's some important components to that. One, we have to believe that. We have to really believe that our body knows what we need and how to heal itself when we give it the space. Um, and another big piece, which I'll talk about in another video as well, um, your perception of what it means to heal. Um, so a lot of times we come at this, um, ex this experience of, of trying to heal our pain from a place of trying to fix ourselves. And our beliefs will be projected into our body. And so if we are putting our energy into this belief that something about us is not right, it needs to be fixed, it is wrong, we are giving that, that concept energy and it will be reflected. And so if we can see our body, our being, as already perfectly divine, we all have this divine essence within us. And if we focus on that part of us, um, not even that part of us, it is us, it is our whole being. Um, and we can really start to invite in this idea that there's nothing to fix, that our body is simply always working for us. It's, it's sending us these messages telling us, hey, something is out of balance. Um, and it a lot of times does it in a very clear, direct way. For example, a lot of headaches can be caused by just putting so much pressure on yourself. Pressure. And being really hard on yourself. I know that was very true for me. So, with this breath work, um, you can really just enjoy the ride and trust that you are tuning into this intelligence that is within us and all around us. And so we're not only taking in oxygen, which has so many benefits. There's books written on how many benefits there are to that. But we're taking in and we're connecting with this life force energy. So some other terms for that, prana or chi. And so this is different than oxygen. This is this incredible creative energy that permeates all living things, permeates everything. And this is where the healing potential lies. It's within us, but we need to tune into it. So thinking of energy in terms of resonance, um, if you have a guitar on one side of the room and another guitar on the other side of the room and you pluck a string, the same string and the same note on the other guitar will also vibrate. And so by taking in this much life force energy through this deep breathing, we are raising our vibration to be able to resonate with this life force energy. 
And when that happens, our body drops into its potential. The, um, the body's innate healing intelligence it comes online fully. And so that's when the headaches can just disappear a lot of times very quickly. Um, so I encourage you to believe that's possible. I remember I had the headaches for so long, 22 years, that it's, I started to believe that it was going to be something complex that was going to help it. It, was, it couldn't just disappear like that. But I'm telling you, it can. We are getting to the root cause with this, with this deep energetic root. Hmm. So many other things. <laughs> Let's see, what else do I want to mention right now? Um, we're also tapping into the subconscious. So the subconscious mind is really what's creating our reality, um, what is being projected. And our subconscious is really in the dark to us. It may be very obvious to other people what our what our patterns are, but to us, it's kind of like that clear pane of glass right in front of us that we don't even see that it's there. And so, um, we they found that we really need to be in a deep meditative state, a certain brainwave state called the theta state, to access the subconscious. And there's other techniques out there that where you can access it hypnosis, for example. But with this technique, I found that um, it's, it's incredibly easy to drop into this theta state, even if you don't ever meditate or do yoga, never done anything like this, you will drop into that state. And what happens is it's almost like defragging a computer. We are getting into the operating system of our minds. And limiting beliefs and thoughts start to arise and we start to see how we've been operating in the world for so many years from a different perspective. And when we can see that, awareness is the biggest first step because then we can consciously start to shift it. Whoa, I am extremely hard on myself. I'm going to try to stop doing that. <laughs> and then your life starts to shift. When we, when we shift these internal parts of us, these beliefs and thoughts, emotional patterns, your reality will shift because your reality is reflecting these things. And so that is another incredibly powerful part of this practice. Um, we're also just getting really deep into the nervous system and these tension patterns that we've been our bodies become so used to. Um, so especially, man, my body was like phew, cement after that many years of, of um, headaches. And so this allows you to really release these patterns of tension because the breath knows where to go. Um, and so it will go to wherever there is an imbalance in the body, it will go to where the tension is stored. And so that's the physical component of it. I think that's good for now. I'll be, um, of course, talking more and more about how this practice is working and what the benefits are throughout the series. Um, this is really the foundation of this series. And um, I'm so excited for you to experience this magical practice that has... Yeah, just I'm I continue to be more and more inspired by it. So I hope you um, can experience the magic as well. Bye for now.